Few people realize that in this scientific age, practically every ocean-going vessel has a scale model counterpart. Boats that are themselves masterpieces of craftsmanship, built especially for testing and research purposes. In fact, many of the models are made from wax, which, although they only last for about three months, are cheaper and quicker to produce than wood or steel. Accuracy to the last detail is achieved with the aid of instruments like the pantograph, supplementing the instinctive touch of the craftsman. This small-scale dry dock is at the Vickers Armstrong's experimental tank in St Albans, Hertfordshire, one of the places where research is carried out on behalf of the British Shipbuilding Research Association. Yet although these models often have short lives, nothing less than a perfect replica is accepted for the tests which are carried out in conditions as realistic as possible. And a model setting out on its first test makes an impressive sight. The tank itself is 440 feet long, and this model, like most built here, is 16 feet long, scaled down to fit the testing carriage, an ingenious mass of apparatus weighing 9 tons. One of the more important tests carried out here concerns the strain and damage caused by the high pressures generated between sea and the ship's hull in rough water, what is known as slamming. Here, high seas are simulated by a wave maker so that exact conditions can be determined and the pressures measured. 6-inch high waves are equivalent to those 14 feet high on a real ship. And all the time technicians are recording, calculating and predicting factors like the horsepower needed to drive the ship at a given speed in different conditions and the motions of the ship in rough seas. Information that is invaluable to the shipbuilding industry and a tribute to the backroom boys to whom seamen everywhere owe their thanks.